Okay, hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I am on the Feld Hell Net again. Today is Wednesday, and I have a net on 30 meters every Wednesday. So I, uh, I checked in last week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I think I'm going to check in again this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Just a good way to stay in touch with some uh, some other hams. Uh, let's see, I'm talking, uh, Paul is in the net control uh, station this evening. He was net control last week on Wednesday. And uh, I, I don't know Paul other than from uh, this net. So I, I've sent him an email and I asked him a couple of questions. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, I'm following the proper etiquette. One of my questions was about the video being in reverse and I'm using it in reverse uh, which means black with white text um, that's the way it is with FL Digi on this uh, this computer I've got here this uh, Windows computer Windows 11 um, and then uh, some some guys transmit in all uppercase and I'm just wondering if there's any uh, uh, reason for that or if uh, we should be transmitting in uh, you know lowercase like he does let's see okay there's a uh, station coming in it took him a little while Jerry in Michigan Oh, this is uh, this is Paul again. Jerry, go with your comments. And uh, I think the station ahead of me is a five station. So there's quite a few guys on the net tonight. I started recording with the software on my little laptop, and it uh, was bogging down. I need to do some maintenance on it. Clean up some. Clean up some to free up some space on it. Okay, there he is. He's got a uh, MFJ 1775 rigid dipole in the attic. Oh, uh, wow. That's something. I've got a real good copy on him. Good 599. And Paul's coming in real good. He's up there in uh, Canada. I think out of the, the nights last week that I was on, Wednesday night on 30 meters was probably the best night. I could copy uh, most everyone real well. Uh, there was just a couple uh, I had a light copy on. So he's in a condominium and no outside antennas allowed. So he's got a solution that's working. Where'd you go, Mr. B? What you doing down there, pal? Oh, got a good one, Mr. B's on the floor looking for a snack. Drop the drop one of his treats. So I'm copying, or I'm so I'm uh, using my iPad, my iPad Pro to record this. And it's got a good camera, good microphone. Well, when I get back up to pier, I want to do some antenna work. Need to pull my rotor down, rotator down, and 
get it repaired. I'll send it off and have them rebuild it. And then as my, as my if I, as long as I'm doing that, uh, I'll probably put up as a new antenna. The one I've got up there is a good one, but I think I want to try something else. Okay, he's calling me in the RV, he remembers. So I've got a report uh, saved in this macro. Can't let it go for a few seconds. Make sure nobody needs to break in. Now I'll just go ahead and send the report. And I'm not putting out all that much power, about 50 watts, I think. Yep, 50 watts. Uh, so I, I had 70 in there. I can change that. I'm watching my power output and it's jumping up between 50 and 80 watts. And now it's up about 80 watts. 95. I hope you copied all that. Yeah, it looks like you did. Well, that was kind of unusual. I've never had to do that before. Fluctuate like that from, well, from 50 up to uh, 95 watts. I wonder if that's just the nature of the beast or what. Usually on a digital mode, it'll it'll stay at the if I set it for 50, it'll stay at 50, uh, like PSK31 or FT8. Uh, 
already uh, it, uh, it stays there but uh, that one uh, that was unusual and I was watching the SWR and the ALC and everything was fine the only thing I can think of is I made a preset for this and uh, my modulation level may be a little bit different than what I had in my uh, previous preset I uh, set one up just for this so that's something for me to look at okay well that does it I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll be uh, putting up more videos on uh, some other digital modes uh, coming soon I'll be in Alabama for another month and then uh, in June I'll be heading back home so I'll get some travel videos up uh, let's see, Memorial Day weekend, we're going to be on the Gulf, and I uh, don't think it's a park that's uh, listed on Parks on the Air, but if, uh, if I'm near one, I'll, I'll operate from parks on, for Parks on the Air and activate the park. So I'll, I'll be operating you know, somewhere down there on the Gulf uh, from my camper, and uh, let's see, uh, yeah, in June I'll be back, in, uh, back up there in... Uh, Pierce, South Dakota. So you can follow me and Mr. B on our travels. Uh, if you go to Instagram or Facebook, look for K0PIR. And of course, YouTube, it's uh, Ham Radio with K0PIR. And I really appreciate the, com appreciate the comments. They really do help out. Uh, it uh, helps improve my channel. And uh, if you give me some comments, I know what to put out next time or know what uh, I missed and uh, what I can do better on. And uh, visit my website, k0pir.us. Um, I do collect revenue from uh, Google advertisements on that website, but if you'd like to get rid of them, uh, it's just a small $5 donation, and uh, I'll, I'll make a uh, login for you, and uh, you can log in, and you won't see any of those Google advertisements. Uh, the the website will be a lot faster for you too. I know uh, a lot of the browsers uh, these days they they don't show the advertisements anyway, so it may not be that big a deal to you. But uh, that's my source of revenue uh, from my website and that and donations. And then here on YouTube, uh, the more you comment and the more you uh, like and subscribe, if you get your friends to subscribe, uh, that helps me out. Uh, I think it's more uh, the likes and the comments that uh, really make the difference these days on the algorithm. Uh, not, not so much the number of subscribers that a, a channel has. So, uh, yeah, please make a comment below, uh, even if it's just to say hello. Okay, that does it. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. 73 and good DX.